Yep. All right, 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 and you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more oh, juicy content. It's so juicy. Thank you also to some juicy. patrons. Follow them for your Twitter account. Ring the bell to be part of the notification squad. I heard that all the way over here. Today, uh, we were acting to a trailer. Wow. I know, right? Uh, but it's for I a... Hope it's, I, I hope it's not tacky. <laughs> Get it? This is a pushpin tack. <sighs> This is uh, called D-Day. It's uh, actually with Irfan Khan and Rishi Kapoor. Uh, in the, oh, yes. In the same film. Uh, I've seen a, uh, like a couple clips of it just because it's been going around since they both passed. Like that yeah. scene, this, a scene that they're in has been just going viral, obviously, uh, in pictures with them together. Um, but obviously, I think it'd be a good time to see it. You guys can let us know if it's going to be worthy um, of it. Uh, I think I have a synopsis here. Yes. D-Day is a 2013 Hindi language action film starring Irfan Khan, Rishi Kapoor, and uh, Arjun Rampal, and others. Intelligence officer and agent Wally, <coughs> excuse me, coronavirus, Wally Khan, and a team of highly, to your elbow. <laughs> and highly trained uh, officers are set to nab Goldman and Sachs, uh, wow. one of India's most wanted terrorists. However, their mission is threatened. Goldman? Goldman, yeah. Uh, one of the, their mission is threatened by a minor miscalculation. Bummer about the miscalculation, bro. That is a bummer about a miscalculation, but it's not a very threatening name to have a bad guy named Goldman. Hey, who's gonna go get those guys? You wanna go blow up the bank? Yeah, let's get Goldman. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. जिसके लिए वली खान ने कराची में नौ साल गुजार दिए थे मेरा यकीन कीजिए सर टारगेट को बिल्कुल शक नहीं है ये हमारे पास आखिरी मौका है इसके बाद हमको मौका नहीं मिलेगा ख्वाब है की उसको जिंदा इस पुल से खींच के लेके जाऊँ और हिंदुस्तान के हवाले कर प्रोफेशनल किलिंग है सर कराची में आपका मिशन एक्टिवेट तो नहीं हुआ कोई भी मिशन मेरा या तुम्हारा नहीं देश का होता है जिंदा लाने की जरूरत नहीं मुर्दे भी चलेंगे Nice. Dang, that looked good. That looked really good. I want to see that. Please let us know if it's worth worth a watch, guys, because that looks 
<laughs> that looked really entertaining. And it also, really did. obviously, um, there's a huge difference because one of the songs we watched just yesterday was like his first film, the one we looked really, really young. Uh, yeah. And the one with the good, the chorus number. That was like his first big debut film where he was the lead, right? Right. Uh, he looks so different now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he took like a Marlon Brando transformation physically. Like Brando was a lean, lean fighting machine kind of guy who, as he got older, he gained weight and his roles were much more low key. Um, he looked too yeah, awesome in yeah. this, though. He like playing the, he looked, playing, playing the terrorist and then Irfan, uh, of course, he looks incredible. Um, and so um, this is based off a true story, it said, right? Or am I wrong? I, I, I didn't see it, but it sure looks like it is based on some of the things they were telling us about. It's like four unsung heroes from a, from an event that actually took place. I think it is. Team of X, um, Batch, most wanted to achieve the unthinkable, uh, horribly wrong. Do, do, do. I can't tell if it's... There was a guy in there that looked like he was John Abraham for a second. I know it probably wasn't, but I thought I saw John Abraham for a second in there. Uh, it must have been Arjun uh, that I'm just not familiar with. Um, but yeah, it's dire it's directed by... Nick Cahill Advanti? Okay, he directed Cal Ho Naho. So he's a, okay. he's a pretty well-known director, apparently. Uh, this guy wrote it as well, produced it. And... Well, I wonder, we, you know, we got a lot of people telling us to see some of, if we want to see Rishi Kapoor flexing his acting muscles, it's his later work in particular. Um, I, I don't know if they, I mean, we're going to see everything Irfan's ever done. I mean, that's just the bottom line. We'll see. We're going to watch everything Irfan's ever put on film. Uh, well, when it comes to Rishi, is this something we should watch, guys? Like, is this is this up there with Kapoor and Sons? Because we've we've gotten a lot of requests for that. Well, apparently Kapoor and Sons, does, he has minimal screen time. Like he, oh. he's good, and people love that film, but he's right. not like a main lead. So, like the ones I've heard that he's like main leads, and you guys can let me know if I'm wrong about this. But D Day. Mulk, which we've reacted to. Mulk, yes. Uh, he's the main uh, main guy in that. And then there, I, I believe there's some others as well. Let me see his uh, Agnapath as well with uh, Rithik yeah. and, with a, and yeah. Priyanka, uh, which <laughs> I, we've been told to watch that one for a long time anyway. Long uh, time. Uh, with uh, Rithik and Priyanka. But yeah, Mulk, I believe, is like one of his best and most well-known. But Kapoor and Sons it, it, in the... the a poll I did on Twitter. If you don't follow us on Twitter, go follow us because I do polls there. Uh, Kapoor and Sons won, but people are also saying he has minimal screen time in it. Uh, yeah. So I don't want to do him a disservice by watching something he has like five, ten minutes of screen time in. Yeah, it's like watching Apocalypse Now expecting Marlon Brando. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're going to get maybe seven minutes of Brando in that movie. <laughs> yeah. But there's a couple shots in this that were like, if Irfan acting, I think he was like crying. Uh, he looked intense and amazing, and he's one of my favorite actors ever. I, I can I can just tell you that right now. Of course, ever. ever. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, you guys can let us know if uh, Monto. Oh, he was a producer of Monto. Really? Oh, cool. Did he do a lot of producing later in his life? I wonder. Rishi. Yeah, Rishi. Monto. I wouldn't be surprised. He so. His last one. Did you know? I know this is about um, Irfan. Um, his last film is unfinished, and it was with Topeka and Vishal. Irfan's last film. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were actually I, they were actually in production on a film. I believe I heard Vishal, oh. Topeka, and Irfan were already working on a film, <laughs> uh, but once his health deteriorated, um, they uh, they stopped production and waited. Uh, for him to uh, mm -hmm. get better, um, wow. but I'm I'm hoping they can, the way they did with Heath Ledger, uh, exactly. I don't know if it's possible. I don't know what kind of story it is, but with the legend, uh, whatever it's called, Doctor Parnassus. I forget the full name. <laughs> yes, of it. Uh, Johnny um, and Johnny Depp and Jude Law and Colin Farrell um, all finished the film, so his work could be put out. Uh, yeah. And, I, I and if love, they didn't even, sorry, go ahead. I, I would love for I don't know if it's possible. I don't know how much they got done. They could have got five minutes done. I don't know. Right. Um, right. But it would be great to see his his final works, um, especially if it's Vishal. I mean, 
I know. Yeah. And, and even if they even if they didn't go that route, which I thought that was a brilliant idea for them to do what they did with Parnassus, uh, they could go the route that they did with Carrie Fisher, where they just take what they had and they can button it up and kind yeah. of put a close on it. But uh, but if yeah. if if his last film we see is in Grazy Medium, I can't wait to see that with English subs to get the full picture. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I we've talked about it, how much we we enjoyed that. And I, I think that's a really nice a little farewell of laughter and tears and you know because that movie was had laughter had tears and uh yeah uh, but yeah well let us know about this film please down below what rishi film uh you know your phone we're gonna watch everything and we we know about him but we don't know as much about rishi so uh please yeah. inform us in the comments below our stupid reactions tune in for